Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and I want to show you guys something because I'm a bit confused. So, I was trying to figure out some stuff because I felt like my frame rate was not being as fast as it should be, and I still don't. I, I've got to double check overheating. I did clean out my graphics card to dust it out. It wasn't very dusty, so I don't know, maybe it's just the overall ambient temperature. Anyway, I got here and I noticed. There's something rather different about this guy in the high wall of Lothric. Something very different. It's a solar eclipse. I'm going to look directly into it right now. In fact, I'm going to look directly into it with binoculars. Ha! Undead eyes are better than living ones, apparently. I did not go blind. Well, it looks like nothing's really changed about this. Okay, well, yeah, this looks like it's about the same. I was... I guess I was curious to see if anything changed because... Solar Eclipse! Yep, I'm still looking directly into it. Still no problems. So, I don't know what all y'all talking about, but dark, but apparently in Dark Souls, solar eclipses are no problem whatsoever. Ah. Well, yeah, looks like we're just dealing with pretty pedestrian stuff here. This is the old high wall of Lothric, so nothing's really changed, much to my consternation, honestly. Okay, well, this is getting trivial. All right, whatever. I just wanted to quickly run through and see if I could find anywhere that's any different, and it looks like there's nowhere. Ow. Okay, I'm being careless. This is honestly kind of ridiculous. Let's not be careless. Ow. You're punishing me for my carelessness. Ow. Fine, I'll be careful, and I'll kill you. Hey, I got more firebombs. Poise through your stuff. All right, cool. So yeah, this is kind of not what I'd expect. Okay, I should probably stop being careless. This is still Dark Souls. Okay, I'm... This is... Why am I being careless? I'm gonna die here because I'm... Yeah, let's just not be silly here. And stab you properly. Okay, there we go. I feel like I was trying to prove a point or something, but yeah, I don't know. So I'm just gonna go to the bonfire that's further up after killing this fool. Okay, after presumably killing this fool. There we go. After getting cut up a bit, because we all know how much I enjoy getting cut up, cut up a bit. And go to the Vort bonfire, because as far as I can tell, there really isn't much over here. But this is still very strange, I must say. It's making me suspicious about maybe there's a different path. Well, there's the skybox. I mean, can't see the sun from here, so there's that. But at any rate... Oh, wait, what am I doing? Ow. I'll just cut you. Ow. You shot me. Ah, I'm not doing that. You're easy. You're all easy. Really, the question is just figuring out what's going on. So...
like my suspicion is that the boss fight that's after this is actually now a thing, whereas it used to not be a thing. And you get stabbed rightly. Okay, good. So yeah, that's that's what the eye wall Lothric is like now. Sheesh. Now there's nothing anything up here, but this is kinda spooky. It's kinda mysterious. Kinda not sure what to expect. So, hey, you, do you know what's going on with that weird solar eclipse, or what? What is wrong? Are you not a lord? Is... Seriously? Nothing? Why is there a solar eclipse? Is that everywhere now? Maybe I should check out the Undead Settlement. I don't know what's going on now. I, I'm genuinely confused. This actually wasn't the place I was intending to check. I'll go back to there once I'm done here. But for now, let's just double check some spots. I don't think there's really anywhere else. Yeah, there's that one night. There's... Oops. Whoa, ow. That was not what I intended. And then there's a ladder up that leads to another area. That's where the crossbows are. And I have fallen from this before to my death. Embarrassingly. I do not intend to do so again. I will probably do so again. Well, whatever. Wow, one shot? Oh, and in the back. And more standard bolts. Nice. I should probably use some of them, because I'm clearly picking up a lot. Man, what did I do to darken the sky? Like, was killing Yorm that big of a deal? I guess so. Huh. And I doubt it's going to make a difference to this weird zombie pool, which is now an easy target now. Wow, that's way easier than it used to be. It's one of those weird things to come back to this and it's like, wow, this is easy. Huh. And of course, that's the bonfire with the stats, so... Okay, so it looks like the high wall of Lothric has not substantially changed in my absence. I just get to stab more people, more effectively. This is a pleasing development, I must say, although this is the lower, not lower level, the mid-level. Another one of those thieves over here and the knight, and I don't really care about you. Come at me! Or don't, because I'm going to bonfire. But, you know, until I bonfire, come at me. Oh, they came at me. Darn it. Well, at least I got them out of the way. Ha! If you kill me, I'm still here! Good luck killing me effectively. Ow, that was not supposed to be that. Why does kicking never work? You call that a weapon art? I'll show you weapon art as soon as I stop rolling. That's a weapon art! Oh, except I couldn't recover in time to actually kill you. But that was still a weapon art. Respect my weapon arts. Ah. Seriously? No. Quit lying. So, yeah. Ah, looking directly in the sun. Nothing bad's gonna happen to me now. What? Where'd everyone go? Uh, what? Oh. Okay, so this is where I actually wanted to go, was to Yorm's throne, because I figured there was something behind it. The storm roll this sucker? What, what am I supposed? To, what do I do?
Nope. Is there a thing here? Only a storm can fell a great wood. Well, okay. Unless that means there's now a tree I'm supposed to cut down with this thing. I'm pretty sure they're referring to the actual boss itself, not some other part of the level. Great wood. The only great wood I found was the Curse Rider Great Wood, and I took that down myself, no problems. Except for all the deaths. But other than the deaths, it was no problem. So, this is not the way to go. Actually, I realized before I went completely blind in the High Wall of Lothric that, which will probably be fine now, the tower on the wall, just make sure not to look at the sun again, apparently I have to learn my respect for solar eclipses. That's, that's good to know. Solar eclipses are definitely a thing to worry about. Ah, oh, I thought I could go up here. So yeah, are there great woods over here? I guess Undead Settlement. I mean, that's probably also got this weirdness to it. Maybe by the... No, that can't be the Pit of Hollows. I mean, that's an optional boss, I think, so... That can't be right. Where have I seen great woods? Assuming that is what I'm supposed to do, is actually chop down a tree. I mean, Road of Sacrifice is kinda, but I'm fairly certain I've fully explored that area. Undead Settlement? I mean, maybe the dilapidated bridge has a great wood near it, but I kinda doubt it. I mean, that's... Really? I thought I was onto something with the way that the High Wall of Lothric was all wonky, but apparently not. So, are there any particularly large trees around here. The closest place would be the Pit of Hollows, and I seriously doubt it's here. I can't think of anywhere I've seen a Great Wood. Pit of Hollows is of no use, because that's just a Covenant area. That's all it is, as far as I know. And I'll double check, but I seriously doubt it's some weird two-stage thing where you beat Yorm and you beat something else. I must be missing something. No, and also the Undead Settlement. I forgot to check. I'm actually going to check the Undead Settlement bonfire, foot of the high wall. Because I want to know if this is actually consistent. Is the solar eclipse just in the high wall of Lothric, or is it everywhere? Apparently only the high wall of Lothric is experiencing a solar eclipse event. Everywhere else is pretty much normal. So I've got no idea. And the dragon didn't seem to show up either, so... What? What do I even do anymore? Okay. <sighs> Maybe there's something on the road to the cathedral. Like, I just feel like there's gotta be something. It's just bugging the hell out of me. There's, there's gotta be something, right? There's somewhere around here that I've missed. But the only trees I can think of are are relatively small. They aren't what I'd consider great woods. They're moderately impressive woods. Not really great in any meaningful sense of the word. Oh, right, this area, this forest full of shooters. Snipers. I'll just take the trench. Ow. 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 This is not good. Where's my... Shoot! Oh, I'm dead. I can't believe that. That was not the way I wanted to die. There's also no great wood around here, so I don't know. I, I died for nothing. Complete waste of time. I'm actually going to go around to the other... To the chapel bonfire because that one's much more productive. I'm just... I'm not even caring anymore. Like, I just want to get to somewhere. I just want to find the next thing. That's what I found kind of annoying about Dark Souls 3, is like, I don't know where the next thing is. It's not like I've been told, go ring the Bells of Awakening or anything like that, and then I have something to go for. It's like, okay, find the Lords of Cinder. Well, that's great. Every time I find one, it's a dead end, except for the Abyss Watchers. That was not a dead end. But otherwise, yeah, it's a dead end. Which is kind of annoying. And now it's like, you need a storm to fell a great wood. Okay, well, there are what great woods? 
Oh, so Cathedral of the Deep also has a Solar Eclipse event going on. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna just, I think we're just gonna Ember up. I like being Embered up. No one's been invading me, but I generally like being Embered up. I mean, I'm probably in areas that I'm over leveled for, so that's probably why. But still, like, seriously? This. Killing Yorm clearly caused some consequences. There's clearly something that's happened here. But other than the sky going really weird, I see no evidence of it. The enemies haven't changed, the monsters haven't. Well, monsters are enemies. The enemies haven't changed, and things really gotten harder. You know, I expect some more substantial change. Maybe something opens up, like a door or something. I mean, in Bloodborne, when it changes to nighttime, there are some areas that kind of open up or change a bit, but I don't recall them being that mysterious. And as far as I know, Firelink doesn't change in any substantial way. And I still don't know how to deal with this. This is so unproductive. I feel like at some point I'm just going to stumble upon the lever to this thing, but I'm probably thinking wishfully. There's got to be a straightforward way to do this. Like, the Deacons of the Deep don't really give me much help. The Cathedral itself is just the swamp it's always been. I mean, it's a bit wonky, I guess. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to Firelink Shrine, because I feel like that one lord that we have, the one that's kind of our friend, or at least our transposer, I think that guy probably knows something. Maybe the Firekeeper as well, but no one else seems to have any idea what's going on. Oh, wait, this is just the mace. Nothing else has changed. I mean, there's the High Well of Lothric, so definitely way back to it. And that's the Undead Settlement area. Oh, that's where the Strayman fight was, I think. It's right over there. I think, if I recall correctly, or... Maybe. I'm not totally sure. That was a long time ago. So, I'll probably just cut back to Firelink Shrine at this point, And then see if I can find anyone who knows anything about what's going on. So, I will see you when I cut. Welcome, speak. Ashen one. Sir Ash. Farewell, me. Aha, so. Ah, and oh, in. Ah, now. Well, for the record, there's no solar eclipse at Firelink Shrine either. I'm really not sure what to do. One thing I can think of, though, is that. Remember I mentioned a while ago, patches. And Patches usually shows up on precipice or precipitous areas after you've encountered them somewhere in the field. I want to see if that's true here, too. Like, there is an area I'm pretty sure Patches is going to show up in, which is up here. And I want to know if they do. Because maybe that'll be some kind of hint. Well, what's going on, then? Hmm. Nothing so far. I heard a weird noise in the elevator, so he might have screwed with me. Well, nothing yet. Well, I guess Patch is in here. That's different. 
Okay. Not sure really what to expect right now. I mean, really, at all, I've got no idea what to expect right now. But, it doesn't look like it's anything particularly notable, so, I don't know. Oh! Hey, the door's locked. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're amongst your own. Plenty of company, right? <laughs> oh, no matter. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're going to make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> oh, you're... <laughs> so we've got two choices. One is to jump, and the other would have been to take a homeward bone, but screw that, I've already gone down here. So I already know I can, without taking too much damage. I mean, I already opened the door for crying out loud. Did, did Patches not check? Patches, you're an idiot, okay? You're just, you just know. You clearly did not even look whether or not I had, oh wait, this is not the way I wanted to go. You clearly did not look if I had had, and yes, I realized I missed a fading soul on one of those corpses. That's how much I care about fading souls, I don't. I mean, it's like, Patches, clearly, you do not understand. I know how to jump and how to fall well and- Oh, hey, what's this? It's a dude. Oh, wait, that's Patches. Ah, oh, you're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. How did you not mean it? You, you get these urges. Running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? Actually, you're alive, which is what counts. Uh, I don't know. Fine, I'll forgive you. Oh, fantastic. A wily second but you cross me again and I'm killing you outright. I knew you'd understand. I, I just knew it. The heart of a lion. A model for the rest of us. A true friend. Forever. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Considering it. Ah, I see you've met Greyrat. The slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well... I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> this better not be a loud track situation where you kill Grey Rat. Ah, the still well. <laughs> what have you got? Embers, shot holes, parrying daggers, Katarina stuff, because you do. <sighs> I mean, we did see patches earlier on wearing the Katarina garb, so I'm not surprised. Horse hoof ring. This an old ring with a seal depending on horse's hoof. Boost kick effect. Unbreakable Patches adored this ring and the feeling that it gave it him when he kicked his marks into the depths of treacherous traps, but suffered no shortage of ridicule from his associates for relying so heavily on the tired old trick. But who's the sorrier? The horse who knows only to kick, or the fool who approaches the old beast without thought? I approached you with great thought. I just figured that was just the way to go. It's like, the next thing to do... Uh, I see that damn well. <laughs> All right, whatever. Come. And nope. Got another merchant. I'm curious what happens if I don't forgive him. Like, does he try harder to get my forgiveness? Okay. Neat, but frankly kind of useless. Now I've got to figure out, still, if there's anybody here that's going to tell me anything that I don't already know.
I feel like the answer is no. I, I don't feel like- oh, hey, you. Aha, you found a proper red eye. Brilliant. I knew you were a dangerous woman. Now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on, give yourself to Rosaria of the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> I can't even find her, fool. Now invade and come on. I have no idea where Rosaria is. The Cathedral of the Deep has an area that's totally inaccessible to me. You can't help me. Unless you can. As far as no, you can't, though. Okay, so I guess new stuff, but at this point, not much. I mean, and also, I've got basically no Titanite. No real Titanite chunks. Not enough Twinkling Titanite to be useful. Nowhere near enough Titanite scales to do anything. And it looks like everyone here is pretty much not here. Most of the people who would be here are not. And the people that are normally here aren't telling me anything I don't already know. I wonder if Greyrat has anything to say about patches. Oh, hell, and in what? What I'm. All right. No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that. I have been to Irithyll. It will kill you. It'll kill you as Goodbye. it killed me <laughs> repeatedly. But I'm pretty sure that I get to die many times and you only get to die once. Speak on our Lord. No, he. Fool. <sighs> Till we've met. I'm not even going to bother with. Irina, I'm pretty sure that she's got nothing to say. Nothing new, at least. Well, that's not ideal. Alright, whatever. Let's just go check out. I don't know what to check out anymore. I mean, what here has anything for me? Like, I'm pretty sure I've Taking all the paths I can in Irithyll. I can't see any great woods. I've... Unless... I don't know. Does something change with Irithyll to also have a solar eclipse event? Because it seemed to be at night. There seemed to be just the moon. Always the moon. Not sure what it's for. Possibly making teenage girls become extremely powerful unexpectedly. But I don't see any teenage girls around here, so I don't expect them to become in any way powerful or magical or anything of that nature. So at this point, we're just going to have to deal with a partially magical but not particularly invested in it grown woman. And there are still no trees. There's you. You're not a tree, but I figure I'd fell you anyway. Yeah, for old time's sake. Despite the fact that Irithyll is the area I'm currently stuck on. It's like, there's a puzzle here, I think. I feel like there's something. There's, there's gotta be something here, but I can't figure out what it is. No, that's not a secret area. I can't imagine the game will require you to find a secret to progress. But I also can't imagine that I'm supposed to attack that woman in the cathedral, the way of the cathedral blue, in the High Wall of Lothric. I seriously doubt that's how I'm supposed to progress. I can do that, I just don't want to, because I can't imagine that's how I'm supposed to get through this. Figure there's gotta be a more typical way. Something that doesn't involve randomly attacking an NPC, because you figure it'll do something in a weird metagamey kind of way. That doesn't make sense to me. Is this area locked? Was this locked or does not open from the side? I can't remember. Does not open from the side. Okay, for some reason I cannot stand, stick my hands through the bars and flip the switch on the other side in order to open that thing from here. Apparently, I am thoroughly incompetent with my hands. How disappointing. And for that matter, how disappointing that all of Irithyll is inaccessible to me despite the fact that I have no idea where else to go. This has been a half hour of random wandering and rambling because I'm lost. 
Feel free to tell me where to go. I'm not going to look it up. I will probably explore around as best I can to see if I can do anything to figure it out. Like, anything at all. I love to find something, but at this point, I can't see anything that looks like a great wood, and I can't see anything that looks at all like a path forward. I'm just assuming that the great wood thing is literal and not a metaphor for the giant, as I'd originally assumed. And there's Lothric Castle again. Or the High Wall of Lothric or whatever. I'm assuming that's Lothric Castle is what it is. You have to look through some of the old videos. I remember Henri mentioned something about all the paths he had to take. Like he had to go through the catacombs, through to Irithyll. But I think it was through Irithyll to somewhere else. And I'm not sure what they said I had to go to. I don't think this is the profane capital. I just happened to find the place and as a result kill a giant. Because that's what you do. You go into a city and you find the largest person there and you slay them. That's that's what I always do. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's generally the way to go into a city. It's a good way to make an introduction. Get everyone to know you're right and proper. But independent of that, I'm going to be just calling this an episode. Mildly unproductive, but we did at least manage to get, I guess, the next stage of patches. Is there a third stage of patches, or is that just it? Like, there's just patches there. Like, patches in Firelink Shrine, up at the top. First, I'm going to double-check that Grey Rat's okay, because I like Grey Rat. He hasn't tried to kill me. Twice. He hasn't tried to kill me at all, actually, but he certainly hasn't tried twice. Nope. Okay, well, Patches is probably still here. I'm going to guess. Yep. Sat down, waiting for me. Or hunched down, rather. Patches squawking. Oh, yes, I got a gesture. I still want the meditation gesture. That's more than anything what I want right now as a gesture. I don't think I have it, though. Collapse, patches, squat. Nope, that's just more of a simian thing. Dang. I don't have a meditation gesture. Or presumably a meditation gesture. Because, if you recall, there's an area right by the... What was it? It was in the... Irithal Dungeon, yeah, where I needed a meditation gesture of some kind to be able to get, presumably, to a new area. I don't know, but it looked like that was what you had to do. So, I need that gesture. I don't know where to get it. Hopefully, I'll find it. But for now, I will call this an episode. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.